Mrs. Lionel and Natasha from grade 5 Latin. They're back up when we stop for the day. Before I start my story, I would like to ask you all, are you familiar with sporty dogs? You know, it's fun to see in their tails wiggle and wiggle. Interested? Hear this! Our story for this day is Hollow Walks Big Out. Written by Heidi Amalia Sabio Abad and illustrated by Beth Parocha of Doc Molero. A nice swamp near a shade of Marlowe's trees lived a group of small, slippery fish called Minnows. One day, they upon some was the larvae. They found a small, very like dog stuck on the roots of an old mangrove tree. Because it was soft and transparent, they could see a tiny black fish like the angel wiggling about its head. A few days later, the jelly like an seemed to change shape. Suddenly, out of pop, a tiny black fish with a big head and furry gills and a wiggly tail. Because it had a bony poly shape that wiggled its way through the water, the minnows called it Hollywall. The silver minnows spent most of their time babysitting the Hollywall, the power play hide and seek with the fish. It loved all the attention. It felt like the most special fish on the swamp. Among the group of small gliding silver minnows, the perky wiggle of the black hollywog stood out. One afternoon, after a brief drizzle, the hollywog and the minnows spotted something that looked like an oddly shaped moss covered stone. Suddenly, two large, bulging eyes blinked. A second later, with a quick flick of the tongue, the odd creature caught a mosquito. Yuck! cried the polygon. What weird thing is that? A stone with eyes and a tongue? The smell does mean this. And this, the polygon's eyes widen. Those shifty eyes are giving me the creeps, it said. It looks harmless, said the smallest minnow in the group. Maybe it's just resting. Well, it should go rest elsewhere, snapped the polywog. I'd have to grow creepy bulging eyes first before I allow that thing into the water. Before you know it, I'm swamp get crowded with more of its kind. The middle with yellow tail swamp forward. But it's all alone for now, the minnow said. Maybe it needs a friend. The polywog refused to listen any longer. It broke in some water and pushed the water out of its gills to help propel it along. Hmm, it puffed, then swam away with an angry wiggle of its tail. For now, didn't want to be with its friends. In the following days, the polywog stayed at the farther end of the swamp. It pretended to enjoy the company of an old snail lady to a rotting branch which had fallen into the water. It refused to join the minnows, which were still curiously sitting around. The moss covered rock. Would check if the stone with bulging eyes was still there. To catch their attention, the polywog would huff itself up with air to make itself look important. However, the minnows were so interested creature and they did not notice the polywog's growing moodiness. Gradually, without noticing it, the
the powder wall would turn green with envy. Each time, the minnows would fuss over the stone-like creature. Since this happened often, the powder wall's shiny black skin took on a splotchy color of brownish Thank you.